Hey, what's going on, peeps? My name is Rex, and we are back with some more Dragon Age. On the last episode, we discovered that we might be facing a blight. There's only been five blights in the world as of now, this being the possible fifth one. And it seems like our lands are in trouble. My brother Fergus is going out with the army of the Kuzlans today while our father marches tomorrow. It's very dark times and it's up to us to, well, take care of the castle, I guess. It's like our job as, as the uh, younger brother. We have to stay here and protect the castle from insurrections and rebellions. It's not really a good... Uh, you see, I wish I could fight. It's kind of... It's the best kind of job, really. But I'm stuck here instead. Anyways, I didn't think that I would need to do this. I actually didn't think I would do this, but here I am. I'm gonna pick up every codex that I can. I don't know if I'll pick every single one in the game. If there's a really kind of awkward, hard to find one that I'll just give you the information straight up and not just go and pick it up. But for now, I'll do my best to pick every single one up. Now, if you're playing on the computer, you can press tab and it shows you every single interactable item in the, in, in the vicinity. As you can see, this is going to be the main way to find hidden codexes. I mean, you can see this one is particularly easy to find. I mean, just a book. You'll most notably just kind of pass your cursor above it and it's going to be really easy to grab. Some other ones like this one are really easy to miss and you wouldn't even believe just how easy it is to miss codexes in this game. Not just that, but there's a lot of items and secret quests you can miss just because they're hard to see. That's why you can press tap and you can see them like this. Very useful. I'll make sure to grab as many as I can. Um, at least here in this uh, origin story, I'll pick every single one there is, but... Yeah, I'm just letting you guys know, I might miss one or two, but if I do, then I'll just give you the story. Not, uh... Not to worry. <laughs> Anyways, um, I believe now it's time to continue the story. We've kind of dilly-dallied a, lo a lot here in this castle, and uh, we've pretty much exhausted every possible thing to do for now. There's still other chests to pick up, but they don't really give you any useful items, so we don't have to worry about them. Anyways, let's talk to her mother. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Yes, mother. Nan is back to work as we speak. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. How could I forget? Of course! It's good to see you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. Ha <laughs> ha! It seems like our character is so handsome! Not even old ladies can resist us. Oh, well, she was drunk, I guess, but that says a lot about her character. <laughs> and uh, it's good to see you too, Darren. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. <laughs> she might not look like it, guys, but she's actually a romance option in this game. Obviously only available to the human novel. Now, I'll touch on that... Giggity. ...a little bit later, but first... Perhaps we should speak alone sometime, Iona. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Now, before I touch into the romance options in this game, since we're gonna get into that first, let's talk to her mother. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Hmm, why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? What if they fall without me? It's in the Maker's hands now. And we must cope as best we can. And it's so lame that I have to stay here when everyone's just having fun and getting levels and loot. It's kind of lame. I do have a really bad feeling about this. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight the Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. 
Hmm. Are you staying at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. So I'm guessing I'm gonna be home alone. That actually sounds fantastic. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. I needn't have been concerned. Eh, it's gonna be alright. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? I do. I love you too. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. Again, I find it very interesting that just like your dad, you have to talk to her again just to get the dialogue where she says she loves you. I think it's pretty cool, and it's so sad that um, I bet a lot of people miss it just by rushing through the game. They don't get to experience this type of this type of dialogues, which um, shows a lot about the love between the characters and the, the parents and their connections, which obviously is important. Anyways, look at the map. If you look at the map, you'll see that Fergus is here and our quest tells us, tell us to go there. However, many people might miss this. You can actually go back to the studio, to the study, there it is. And guess who you will find? There is Darian, and there is Iona. Guys, this is the moment where we're gonna talk about relationships. Relationships in this game are possible, of course, um, and they're actually pretty free. You can have relationships with men, or you can have relationships with girls, regardless of your sex. A man can go with a man, a woman can go with a woman, doesn't matter. However, some characters cannot be romance. There are gonna be characters in this game that doesn't matter what you do or what dialogue options you choose, there will be no romance with them and some others are gonna be easier than others. I will touch on which ones you can, which ones you can't do, and uh, whether or not they are loyal or not. You see, some characters won't really mind if you go around screwing everyone you see, while others will. Don't you worry, guys. <laughs> I'll give you all the information you need. For now, let's talk to Iona. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. <laughs> Greetings once again, my lord. Noble and intelligent, just like its master, of course! You are very pretty, if I might say so. My lord is very kind, thank you. Hmm, I think we should <laughs> get to know each other. Aren't we doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Oh, you know, something more intimate later on in my room. I... I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, my lord? That? <laughs> Jesus. That sounds fantastic. Until tonight, then. And there you go! We uh, get a little quest there. A lot of people might miss this, but it's kind of easy to get. All you have to do to get it is to choose at least two options that flirt with her. The one that we had with our mother counts as well. As long as you do two dialogue options that flirt with her, she's gonna give you the option to invite her to your bed. Now, you can do the same thing with Darien. It's important to know, however, that if you pick one, you cannot have the other. So choose wisely. <laughs> but, Darien. Hello again. Your castle study is wonderful. Might I ask whose collection this is? Oh, well, it was my grandfather's, but I come here often to read. So would I. Do you have a favorite book? Oh, <laughs> well. My favorite book happens to be The Art of Passionate Love by Brother Capria. Oh, that was banned by the Chantry, wasn't it? Quite provocative, I understand. I've, uh, never read it myself. <laughs> A book so provocative that it was banned by the Chantry. Now that's how you know it's good. But then again, it really isn't meant for reading, isn't it? No, I, uh, I'd heard that. Hence the banning. <laughs> Okay, you know what? It's making me a little uncomfortable having this conversation with you, so I'm just gonna go. Of course, my lord. I am sure you have much to do yet. There you go. You can choose to flirt twice with him to get the same option to invite him over to the bed, just like with Iona. But now that we brought Iona back again to the conversation, uh, you cannot really notice very well. It's kind of hard to see, but she's actually an elf. The best way to look at it, of course, is through the ears, but you can't really see her ears for obvious reasons. She's actually an elf, which I think is kind of interesting. She has... A baby. Not here, but in the alien edge. We'll see it later, I guess. It's probably going to be by the end of the game, or close to, so it's gonna take a while before we see it, but just letting you guys know that she actually has, which is something that a lot of people don't actually know, which I think is very interesting. Now, um, she was described as a lady in waiting. What does that mean? Well, I think I should probably start talking about ranks and nobility in this game, since I, I guess it's kind of important. She's an elf. 
elves are not looked too highly upon in this game. They usually are servants or slaves. Not in Ferelden, since slaves are illegal in Ferelden, but in other lands. They are kind of... they're just really not that popular, I guess. Now, because she used to serve the family of Lady Landra very well, and she used to do her work like she's supposed to, she was giving a race. And because of that, now she's a lady in waiting, which means that uh, Lady Landra is trying to find other nobles to marry her with. Or, I guess, a noble, not many nobles, but a noble to marry her with. So that she can get nobility. That's a very high privilege, and she's very lucky to have that, since most elves don't get that opportunity. But... Dry Age. Dry Age. Guys, I want to talk a little bit about the nobility in this game. You see, the highest and most important noble in this game is the king. As everyone knows, everyone in the land swears fealty to the king. He's the most important character there is. Right now, the king is King Merrick. Now, outside of the king, the most powerful noble in the game are the Terrans. There are only two Terrans in Ferelden. Terran Kusland, which is her dad, and Terran Loghain, who is the Terran of Gwaren. Those are the only two Terrans in this uh, map of Ferelden, and those are the two most important families in all of Ferelden. Everyone else that you're gonna meet in this game is gonna be of lower statue than us. That gives you a little impression of how important we are, everyone, are all how? Lower than us, okay? Uh, ben Tegan, lower than us. Every other person you're gonna meet in this game is gonna be of lower importance than us, which I think is very important. And I wanted to let you guys know because I think that's just, it just kind of blew my mind when I figured out that we are actually kind of a big deal. <laughs> um, I won't really get as to what a Terran actually means or what a bond, uh, a band means or what a right. Earl means. I'll get as to that later if you guys are really interested, but I think it's really, really interesting. Now, before, oh, and also there's 20,000 people living in High Ever, which is our Terran ship, which I think is crazy. It's a pretty big land. Anyways, let's get back on track. This is where I need to go for the quest. Now, before we get in there, you have to know. If you talk to your brother here, you will not be able to do anything else in the castle. You won't be able to go back anymore. So if you want to seduce Iona or, or Derek, you have to do it before this. If you want to grab any more any chests, or if you want to just do whatever you want to do in this castle, you have to do it before this. Good? All right, good. Now, Fergus. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Hmm. Should I wait outside? Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Okay, all right. Well, you know that there's a great warning in the castle. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffin's only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Guys, very important. There's a reason why I chose that very specific dialogue, because I wanted you guys to hear that. Griffins! Griffins are now extinct, but they used to be a very important factor during the other blights. You see, the Grey Wardens used to ride griffins to war. It used to be kind of a big deal. Usually when people would talk about the Grey Wardens, they would talk about the griffins. Very, very awesome legendary creatures. In this game, they're supposed to have the bodies of lions, and then everything else is of an eagle. So the, the beaks of eagles, the, the talons of eagles, the tails of eagles, but just the actual body of a lion. Very, very cool. Sadly, they're extinct. They actually got, to give you guys a little reference, they got extinct uh, by the last blight, so by the fourth blight. So that's like ages ago. Pretty, pretty sad. Anyways, yes, Duncan is recruiting. Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. Well, I... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's really happy about it, but... Uh, do you think the war will be over quickly? Word from the South is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Damn. I, you'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Such a lovely wife. I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. 
Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Very sad indeed. Obviously our mother doesn't want us to go, since she loves me very much. But uh, I guess our father truly knows the, the threat that the Blight possesses. Anyways, I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to behead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Hmm, a good shield would probably be more useful. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Of course. This is by far my favorite conversation in all of the origin stories. It is just so good. A woman who drinks a lot of ale. <laughs> uh, you can totally count on me. Oh, good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. So, I'm being sent to bed. Nah, I don't like the sound of this. Getting sent to bed early, are we? Yes, but I don't mind since I have someone waiting for me. What? You sly dog. Fergus, really? It's the elven last that arrived with Lady Landra, isn't it? Don't you tell me it isn't. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. <laughs> it may be, or she might not. It's confidential. I do not kiss and tell. <laughs> oh, and one conversation that I want you guys to see, because I think it's... I guess I'll explain why it is important on the next episode, but for now, just pay close attention to this, okay? Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Uncle? That sounds true. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? Dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Uncle? Then I can fight evil too. Take that, dire bunny! Oh, dark spawn, fear my sword of truthiness. Truthiness? We're teaching him about honesty. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. And there it is. I really like that conversation. You guys are gonna see why on the next episode. For now, Dad. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. About this Grey Warden. Ah. I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? No, dude, but if he was, like, that actually sounds like a very good idea. If he did, then I would have to consider it. If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. He is kind of cool. I should probably go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. I love you, Dad. Fantastic! Before we leave, you have to make sure to pick up this book. Can't forget. Actually, you get a second chance of picking it up, but... Might as well just do it now. Woo! Level up, guys! We are gonna worry about the level up in the next episode since we're about to be done. Anyways, guys, why don't we go to a room and uh, have some fun?
Your hound is making so much noise. He seems so angry. Hmm, perhaps something is wrong. I thought I heard yelling when I woke up, but now I hear nothing. I'm gonna see if someone's in the hall. <laughs> 